Um, Eti Tiamana Tinakwe. Um, as Minister of Customs, Tiamana Arai o Aotearoa, it is my pleasure to update the House on the excellent work of the New Zealand Customs Service and our budget initiatives. It's an enormous privilege to be the Minister of Customs because it's the oldest New Zealand service. It's celebrating its 175 anniversary this year because the first Customs House was established in Russell weeks before the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840. And I like to say that Customs is 175 years young because even its Though it's a traditional organisation, it has loyalty and commitment, it's innovative, forward-thinking and delivering cutting-edge services and technology. And so it's great to see you can teach an old dog new tricks. Um, Customs has four major roles. The first is protecting the border. The second is managing travellers as they cross that border. The third, managing imports and exports. And the fourth, collecting revenue. And over that 175 years, the demands of the borders have changed, but they're always challenging. Because Customs' job is to keep New Zealand and New Zealanders safe. And we do that by managing risk and making border access as difficult, as quick, as easy, and as cost-effective for legitimate travellers and goods, but as complicated, as difficult, as time-consuming, as an, and, an, as, and as expensive as possible for illegal or dangerous people or goods. And New Zealand Customs does this very well. Uh, the World Economic Forum rates New Zealand as fourth in the world for facilitating trade across the border and sixth in the world for its actual border processing. And that's pretty amazing considering the emphasis we have on biosecurity and other countries don't do that at all. Last year, 10.4 million travellers crossed our border, and those numbers are increasing every year. And they're increasing in number and in diversity. We have more non-English speaking travellers, we have different cultures, and that increases the complexity at the border. So SmartGate allows us to manage that risk. And just this week, I announced 29 new SmartGates, and these are SmartGate with steroids, on steroids. These are smart gate that are brand new technology with a one step process. No more ticketing booths, no more two queues. It's faster processing and better quality biometrics. And that's a fantastic upgrade for New Zealand. We're also delivering for importers and exporters of goods. The JBMS, that's the Joint Border Management System, and the Trade Single Window are world-leading technology. They're transforming border processes and streamlining systems. Recently, I visited the US, and in talking to customs officials there, and business people, they were absolutely impressed that New Zealand had this technology and jealous because they don't have it yet. Now, Customs manages about 11 million import and export transactions, and 99% of those are managed within 30 minutes. We're also actively supporting exporters. Whenever the government negotiates any trade agreements, Customs is involved in order to get the manage the border processes. In Budget 2015, $6.2 million has been allocated over four years to support small businesses so that they can access international markets and reduce the risk of trade disruption. We're constantly challenged at the border by people who want to bring illegal or dangerous things into New Zealand. Uh, smuggling drugs, offensive weapons, child pornography. So we need to be vigilant and we need to be one step ahead. And we do that by working in partnership with the New Zealand police and with international agencies. In the last six months, we've stopped half a ton of methamphetamine at our border. That's a street value of $246 million. And we know that we're holding our own against the drug rings and organized crime because the price of meth has remained the same since 2011. So we have control. <coughs> we also collect revenue for the Crown. 
We collect about $12 billion every year. I call Catherine Delahunty.